What's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR and I just wanted to do a quick little, as you can tell by the title, a little pre-thought results on what I think that this uh, PlayStation conference is going to talk about. Um, it's currently 11.14 here in Vegas and the press conference doesn't start till 3 Western Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And for starters, I first think I, I personally think that it's a safe bet that the PlayStation 4 in some way or some form is going to be revealed. There's been a lot of evidence over the past couple of months, you know, like the PlayStation 4 development kit, uh, pictures of a um, prototype PlayStation 4 controller, um, some games, I, I believe, that graphically look like they could run on an, a next-gen system and not this-gen system, although I don't really see the point. And... The main question that I want answered from this press conference is simply what can this system do that the PlayStation 3 cannot? What I mean by this is because over the course of PlayStation history there have been certain revolutionary additions that have actually made the system better than its predecessor. For example, you have the PlayStation 1 which could only play PlayStation games and were on multiple discs which, you know, at the time was kind of unheard of, but, okay, that's, you know, Generation 1. And then we got our Generation 2, and it could play music, it could play DVDs, it could play PlayStation 1 and 2 games, so that's an addition. Now we get to PlayStation 3, and it can play PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1. If you have the really, really, really early PlayStations, you can also play... PlayStation 2 games, you can play music, you can watch movies, you can download movies, you can go on the internet, I can order my pizza, I can download games on the PlayStation Network, I can get avatars, I can keep track of my trophy score, I can talk to my friends at the PlayStation I, I can play dance games like uh, MJ The Experience. Um, so, it's just like the commercial says, a PlayStation 3 really can do everything and anything. So, what will this PlayStation 4 do? I hope it's just not another power system that has, it's slightly more powerful and it has slightly better graphics in its games. I mean, that that just doesn't seem like a revolutionary step or, be, or as the next generation of PlayStations. All I've heard from it is that the PlayStation 4 might be releasing this November with a price range somewhere between $400 and $500. Um, I've also heard that there's a chance that it will not allow the use of used games, which I really hope that rumor is not true because that would really damper my use of Gamefly, and I absolutely love using my Gamefly. I'm currently renting four games, which I have for like the past two years. So, I don't know. There's a... There's definitely a lot to think about. There's there's a lot of things that could be revealed. I was really I'm a little bit surprised that they want to do this today because uh, several months back they said that they were going to let Microsoft go first, and I thought that was a smarter decision since I believe that the next Xbox, from what I've heard from the rumors, will have a lot more problems than the PlayStation will be. So maybe that'll be enough time for them to get those problems, you know, smoothened out. But uh, again. All I want to know is what is this PlayStation going to do that the PlayStation 3 can't? Uh, comment down below and tell me what do you guys want to see from this press conference? Do you want to see some game releases, some release titles, uh, actual price range, or are you like me and you just want to know what is it going to do? Because at this point, I'm really not sure what more you could add to a system to make it better. Because the PlayStation 3 really does do everything that I could ever use it for. I mean, heck, it even has Netflix and I can watch TV on it. So, if you like this video, please like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check me in my future videos. And in about maybe four or five hours from now, I'm going to upload another video just doing a review of what was actually revealed. So, like always, thanks for watching, and I will see you later on today.